I was married to Yolande for almost 23 years when she passed away on the 9th of September 2021. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at the beginning of her pregnancy with our sixth child, David. He's the guy wearing the blue glasses. So from the beginning it was quite a difficult journey knowing that on the one side death is growing inside her and on the other side life. And we had to constantly choose life. And that is quite a biblical thing to do based on Deuteronomy 30 where Abba Father instructed his people to always choose life and not death. So that kind of set us on a route map for the next four years. And it is amazing how Yeshua sent people across our paths to carry us in this difficult time. And one of them was Lisa. Yes, I met Barty and Yolandi about um, in 2019. I met them in Ventuk, Namibia. And we just started walking a journey together. We became friends and every time I will go to Ventuk, I will visit them. So the last time was in February 2021, I went to visit them. And I still remember the one day me and Yolandi were driving in the car and she still told me she doesn't even want to go for any scans anymore because she won't, it will just upset her too much. She won't see any difference. She won't see any progress. But then a few months later, she developed a lot of pain and she had to go for another scan. So the scan that Lisa refers to was of her liver area and it revealed that the cancer had spread to her liver and we realized that the time on earth will not be a long season unless a miracle happens. So during that time my prayer for her also changed from Father what must I do so that she can get healed to a more a prayer from the other side of, of the grave where my prayer changed to Father, let your will be done and we trust you in every detail. Because the fears that we had to face or the giants that we had to face during our journey was for me that I would lose my wife and what then? And for her it was of dying and not being able to raise up her children. And we surrendered those fears to the Lord and it is actually amazing how the journey continued. So during, during the last part of, of the journey, it was literally a prayer of um, surrendering everything to, to Yeshua and also laying down the possibility for a miracle to happen and for her to get healed miraculous, miraculously. Yeah, so one day I just went and sat behind my piano and I just um, started singing and playing a song. And as the song developed, I realized that it was a song that our father gave me over Yolandi's life. And the song's name is Finally Home. And it just touched me very, very deeply. And um, yeah, Abba Father really ministered to me through the song. So I sent it to Barty and Yolandi. And a few days later, Yolandi messaged me. She sent me a voice note and I could hear that she was really struggling and battling. She was just whispering and she just um, asked me whether I would be willing to come up to Namibia and to sing the song at the celebration day of her life after Abba Father takes her home. And I immediately agreed and said it would be the biggest honor for me to sing at the celebration day of her life. And then I started thinking the whole time it would be such a blessing if I could just go up earlier and still be with her and spend some time with her before she goes home. But I thought maybe she and her family would rather want to be alone. But then soon after she sent me another voice note asking me, um, is it possible for me to come up earlier and maybe we still have some time together before Abba Father comes to fetch her. So a day later I got into my car and I drove up to Namibia and I had the privilege of still spending another eight days with Yolandi before Abba came to fetch her. And for me it was life changing. Um, yeah, I didn't even always feel worthy to be there because it's such a big honor and privilege to be with someone 
their last few steps on earth and yeah just to be with them to see how they enter into eternal life it's really a big honor it was just actually so beautiful to see the transition and yeah it is just something that was life-changing to me and i will never forget that yolandi's life was just such an inspiration to me the way that she continued to praise and worship Abba Father despite her challenges and what she was facing and how she continued to encourage other people, including me, and continue to speak life and to speak into other people's lives. And yeah, how she just continued to be used by Abba Father um, until he came to fetch her. So yeah, Yolandi will always continue to live on in our hearts and we will always have special memories of her. So I mentioned, I mentioned earlier that one of the, the giants I had to face was losing my wife and I could not imagine how to live without somebody that, that I shared my life with for such a long time. And as I laid down that fear as well, um, Yeshua put a new love for me inside my heart for, for next season. And he doesn't take away anything from the pre previous season. It's just a, a next season. What amazes me, during this time, one would actually thought um, that it's a horrific, terrifying experience. However, during this time, it was a time of peace and tranquility. Yolanda had a lot of pain, but through that all, she kept on crying out to Yeshua um, for helping and carrying her through this last hour on earth. So when we look from an eternal perspective, that is actually not as bad as if one imagined the situation from a year and hour perspective. So the Lord really changed my view and he, he gave me the grace to look from the other side of the grave onto what happened to us. I never thought that I would be able to gather again after she passed away and he really surprised me in such a way so that I can continue with my life with the next season. Yes, during those eight days that I was uh, with Bati and Ilandi in Namibia, um, I just saw the love that Bati had for Ilandi and how he took care of her and how he encouraged her and prayed for her and it was just so beautiful to me and I had the silent prayer in my heart that our Father will also bless me if it's still His will for my life to get married that He will also bless me with a husband that loves his wife as much as Bharti loved Yulandi. And um, yeah, so it wasn't long after Yulandi went home that Abba Father started placing a, a deep love inside my heart for Bharti and that he showed me that he's my husband to be and that Abba Father has been preparing me all this time to get married and it was also a challenging season because I waited really long and I started thinking maybe it's not written in the scroll of my life to get married, maybe it's not God's purpose or maybe there's something wrong with me and we still have to deal with, with certain things in my life but then I started seeing the bigger picture and why I had to wait so long and that Abba Father has been preparing me all this time not just to be a wife but also to be a mother to his children and now our children. I think many times we try to figure things out with our fleshly minds and figure out why certain things happen the way they do but I think the best answer is that God's ways are above our ways and it's actually so beautiful how Yolandi received scripture over her life, John 12 verse 24, where it says, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it only remains a single seed, but if it dies, it brings forth an abundant harvest. And that is really a beautiful promise that she received over her life, that there will come a beautiful harvest from her passing. So when I listened to the song the first time, I was amazed how the words of the song actually were so accurate in what we went through, how she called out, how she cried out to, to Yeshua and how he, he said that he, he is with us, he is listening to every cry and that was 
that was so special that he sent us a song in that difficult time to encourage us to to continue to the end and beyond. Yeah, so Abba Father really laid in our hearts to to create a story of the song. So the whole storyline of the music video is about their journey up the mountain and how they carried Yulandi and how it just got more and more difficult and toward the end how they fully surrendered Yulandi to Yeshua and then it's also about my journey up the mountain which was also not easy always, many challenges and many trials but how I also eventually reached the top of my mountain and how our journeys eventually merged and how our Father eventually came and turned ashes into beauty.